What's up guys? So today, talking about making memories, right? So I put up a post on my uh, email I sent out to my clients and we talked about the, in the quote, it was, you know, don't let uh, moments go by until you realize it's a memory. And what it kind of means was like, you know, live in the now, but appreciate what you're experiencing in front of you, right? So a great example, the reason why I picked this quote was because over the weekend, I was doing a home project and my little guy, who's three, was running around asking, what you doing, daddy? Can I help you, daddy? Can I hold this? And he's wearing his Superman cape as he's running around the house. Uh, you know, so he's halfway trying to play superhero and running back and forth, trying to chase me, carrying lumber through the house. And, uh, and it was just living a really cool kind of moment. And I even, what's funny was I even made the comment, like, this is the, this is the stuff I'm gonna remember forever is working on this stupid sliding door for my wife in the bathroom, the master bath, instead of a swinging door, replacing that thing and having my three-year-old running around in a cave playing superheroes and trying to help. Uh, you know, at three, you can't really do much other than a whole piece of wood from falling over. But, um, you know, just that fact that he wanted to be around and be involved and, and be a part of what I was doing, you know, really kind of, you know, hit home with me, then it makes me look forward to what I have going up. But in the back of my mind, I made a mental note to just, you know, log this one away as something that, you know, I don't want to ever go away. And, you know, obviously down the road, in terms of being a teenager, I highly doubt he'll be as enthusiastic to help me with projects around the house like that. But, you know, at this age, you know, he just wants to be around me. He wants to have fun. And, um, you know, as like I've said in one of my other videos, like getting off the freaking cell phones, um, you know, just do, do something with your kid and make a memory and but when you do it appreciate for what you have you know there's so many horrible stories uh like we were just watching a netflix special about the gabriel fernandez case you know it's horrible what somebody can do to a child and 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 people can do to each other and and if you have the ability to intervene or if you have the ability to make a memory with your kid that can last forever don't ruin it by having something else get in the way you know just appreciate the time that you have and and, and live in the now and 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 Certain things have been influencing me here in the last few months, but it's like, it just kind of makes you appreciate, you know, what, you know, if you died today, could you say that the days that you've leading up to this moment, that you've given everything you have for your family, your loved ones, and, and spent the time with them, do they know that they love you? Do you, do they know that, you know, you were willing to lay down and, and do whatever it took to be with them? So when you, when you think about, the last time you spent time with your family, you know, is it really, was it really meaningful time or were you just there? And I think that's something that we as um, parents, you know, need to do a really good job of when we're looking with our kids that can make a difference in how they grow up. You know, we see kids with issues um, down the road. Uh, it's from a lack of structure in the household, a lack of, you know, just, you know, being there as a parent. And so that's something I'm making a mission for me with my two boys is, and I've said this in my podcast, the only, only thing I'm afraid of now is failing them as a father. I mean, everything else doesn't matter to me. Doesn't matter how good I play golf, doesn't matter how many tournaments I could win or lose or how many people I could teach or tour players I could teach, how much money I make. The only thing I'm afraid of is failing them as a, as a dad. And, you know, I think that's the, the, the thing that you have to look back as a parent is going, this is this is the time to be there for them and, and, and appreciate it. So another long little winded real talk with Coach Matt, but again, it was something that resonated with me that I wanted to share with you guys and hopefully you can take something away from it. And I look forward to talking with you guys again soon. And if you enjoy it, please subscribe to the podcast and the show, Junior Golf Blueprints, my podcast. Find me on subscribing to the YouTube channel here. Keep getting great nuggets and appreciate all your support so far and let me know what you want to hear.